the long-haul bombers arrived in Cincinnati's Great American Ballpark for some Great American Softball Home Run Derby action. Ryan, we're in your hometown. How do you feel today? I'm pretty jacked up. A little nervous because I got about 45 people here, so. This would mark the first time this season that Team Elite would face Team Easton. If that doesn't mean anything to you, it should. Both these teams sent both of their hitters to last year's Stadium Power Tour Finals. Jeff, how do you feel about hitting against Brett today? Brett, I don't know, now I can't hit. Now I can't even talk. First time I'm speechless because I'm going up against the Brett Helmer. Yes, you're going up against Brett Helmer. Well, stick around softball 360. <laughs> We're going to put on a show for you then. These are some extremely heavy hitters, folks. Grab your flak jackets. It's going to be a bomby ride. So far this season, Team Easton has maintained a healthy lead, but with only one event under their belts, it's not really a fair comparison. I took a couple months off you know, with the birth of my daughter, and uh, that's as good as it gets. So looking forward to get back into it. Uh, I've hit at this stadium a few times here in Cincinnati, and I've had good luck a couple times, so I'm looking to keep that alive today and uh, see if we can get Team Easton another victory here and beat up on these uh, worth elite boys. Will Easton be able to maintain their dominance or will Team Elite step up into that number one spot? Let's find out. The first batter was Team Elite's Jeff Hall and Hall was on fire today. He ended up with 11 home runs out of 15 pitches. I told you, 7 to 10, I got one over it, so I'm happy. Next up was Jeff Hall's nemesis, Team Easton's Brett Helmer. Helmer wins long haul bomber contests the way Chuck Norris kicks bad guys' asses easily. But today didn't belong to Helmer. Even though he ended with a respectable final score of eight, it wasn't enough for a victory. Now what do you think about today's derby? Because in past derbies, eight home runs is a solid number. You know what? Eight, eight's not that good here tonight. Uh, ball's flying tonight. You know, you got four real good hitters. Everybody was pretty much on it, ex except for me. Let's hope Chuck Norris isn't having any problems, too. I'm scared of bad guys. The hitting torch was passed to Team Elite's BJ Folk. How many do you think you're going to get today? Hopefully. I'd like to go for 12. 12 be a good number. So far, Folk hasn't had the runaway success that he'd grown accustomed to on previous stadium power tours. Now is the time to step up or step out. Folk chose to step up. He blasted out a ridiculous amount of home runs. It was either 62 or 12. I'm not that great with counting. Probably 12, since he only got 15 pitches. Yeah, 12. Wow, holy moly, BJ. You had 12 home runs today. Probably your biggest showing so far. How do you feel? I feel good. Uh, that's what I needed. What did I tell you before the game? 12? I think you did say 12, yeah. I got my 12. A man of your word. Exactly. Elite was ahead 23 to 8. Team Easton had one last chance with Cincinnati hometown boy Brian Wegman. He would have to hit out all 15 pitches to even tie Team Elite. Not an easy task, but if anyone can do it, it's this guy. Wegman quickly created a hailstorm of home runs and ended his turn with 14 home runs. 14! And I thought Folks 12 was good. Well, the first two you didn't hit out, so what were you thinking after those first two? Oh crap, get on it. <laughs> when did you hit your flow? Um, actually, the second one that I ro rolled over, I, I knew exactly then. Just get it, you know, stay on the bottom half of the ball and I was fine. And then kind of got in a rhythm and it was a blur from then on. What do you think your friends and family are thinking today? They're probably pretty fired up. I know my dad's happy, that, that's for sure. 14 was the highest any bomber had bombed this season, but it still wasn't enough for the overall team win, much to Jeff Hall's sarcastic surprise. Jeff, you guys barely squeezed out the win today. 23 points to 22, how do you feel? Did we win? You won. Huh. Well, <laughs> you want me to go out there and dance with the cheerleaders? I mean, I can do that, you know? <laughs> The fans in Cincinnati were so impressed with today's show that the Bombers ended up signing autographs for hours. Brad, what do you think about all the fans coming out here today? You know what, I've been doing this a long time, and this is probably the best showing we've had by the fans. And I've actually been in this stadium, this is my third time hitting here. This has been the best that we've had. Obviously, you can see we've actually run out of autograph stock, and we've had hundreds and hundreds of these things sent in. So uh, that's awesome, you know what, that, that's what it's about. We run out of Wegman posters, so I made my own here. So we got the new Wegman poster that I done myself, so. 
They also put on a special exhibition encore home run show following the Reds game. With Cincinnati out of the way, here are the standings for the Long Haul Bomber Stadium Power Tour. After just five more stadiums, the top four home run hitters will advance to the finals where they'll compete for a brand new 2009 customized Viper Chopper. By the way, if you'd like to see the Bombers Night Exhibition in its entirety, log on to softball360.com and click on videos. Peace out, homies. The future is upon us. Superior performing composites, exclusive carbon nanotube technology, and a patented two-piece connection. The result? Widest sweet spot ever. Maximum performance. The all new Easton Stealth Comp CNT. Easton. Play with it or against it.